Hi, I'm going to cover now how to set up a recording schedule on the Hikvision range of DVRs. Now, this is extremely easy, intuitive and quick um, and there's a lot of functionality in terms of how, exactly how we can go about it. So the first thing to do here is just to right click, I'm going to click on menu, We've, I exited out so I have to use the password I've set up on this and I'm going to go into the record. So the default uh, um, sub-menu I'll go into is schedule here, and we can just see by default it sets it up to record continuously on all cameras, okay? And we can change that, and I'll talk about that in a few moments time. Maybe I'll just deviate for a moment and just talk about parameters, things like that. So we'll go into the different sub-menus here and just cover them very quickly. So what we can do here is we can set up, we'll say, the resolution we want to have on the different cameras and also uh, the video quality, uh, the frames per second, things like this. So it's quite good. And we can have different settings, we'll say, on a continuous record or if it's been uh, triggered by an event, maybe we want to have a lot, a lot higher resolution uh, in those type of things. So to be able to set it up that way, obviously, uh, it's quite good. Um, we have the advanced settings here, so we can able to go in there and exactly how we're going to do it. And then we have the holiday settings there. So if we wanted to change it during holiday periods where we want to have a lot more recording or less recording, depending on the setting, we can just go in here and actually specify periods and call them into the, our uh, schedule. So go back to the main event here. So we can see here that it's been set up. So I might say to myself, well, between uh, six or between eight in the morning and four in the evening, um, on, uh, Monday to Friday, I'm going to be there and I just don't want any recording. So what I'll do here is I'll just go on and click none and I'll just grab these days here and um, I'll just go as far here and I click none like that and then I could say I want to have motion detection then between um, 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. so we'll just grab this two hour period uh, and we can see the color code has changed there and we can do, change various things like that and I can say actually I don't want that just in camera one I want to have it on a number of cameras so I'll just go to copy and now we'll come along and we'll say, I want to put it in ca camera two and camera four along with camera one, but I don't want to put it in camera three, which I want to record continuously because it will say it's covering an entrance, something like that. And I'll just go, okay. And I just apply now. That's what makes the save exactly stick. So if I go up here, we'll say to camera four, we'll just see that it's the same settings have come across. But if we go to camera three, would say it's just a continuous recording as I said there. So you can see it's extremely intuitive in terms of how to go about it and it's very fast and the fact that it's so easy to copy over settings from one to the next and just at a glance you can come along and you can know and the whole idea of color coding and li listing the menu on it all the rest is very good. So once again Hicks Vision is well uh, ahead of let's say the competitors in generally how it's setting it up for ease of use. So that's it anyway how to set up a, a recording uh, schedule on the Hicks Vision range of DVRs.